RCCG's Geo Pastor Adeboye faces criticism over luxury vehicle purchase at Canada Land Acquisition. <laughs> there is a detail, please. Pastor Enoch Adeboye announces the acquisition of 80 acres of land in Ontario, Canada, sparking widespread debate and criticism. The land intended for the enlargement of a church accompanied the kickoff of the first RCCG, the America's two continental convention themed a new dawn. Social media backlash ensues with criticism focusing on the pastor's play of wealth, the position in the foreign country, and perceived neglect of the economic challenges faced by his congregation in Nigeria. In a move that has sparked widespread debate, the General Overseer of the Renewed Christian Church of God, RCCG, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, recently announced the acquisition of 80 acres of land in Mansfield, Ontario, Canada. This announcement made on the pastor's official Instagram page has drawn both praise and heavy criticism from various quarters. According to the statement shared by Pastor Adeboye, the Canadian branch of RCCG acquired a sizable plot of land which the General Overseer declared will be used for the enlargement of the church. The land acquisition was said to be part of the kickoff of the first RCCG, the America's two continental convention themed a new dawn. Accompanying the announcement to a photo is showing Pastor Adeboye and his wife, Fuluke Adeboye, along with church officers, inspecting the newly acquired property. Notably, the pastor was seen arriving at the site in a luxurious Mercedes May barge, sparking further controversy. Criticism and reactions. The reaction on social media have been predominantly critical, with many netizens expressing outrage over the pastor's display of wealth and acquisition of such a large tract of land in the foreign country, while the majority of his congregation in Nigeria struggles with poverty. Africans won't collectively contribute to starting a tech or real estate company or even creating jobs, but they can contribute to buy land to build more churches, commented one on social media. Others have crucified, criticized Pastor Adeboye for prioritizing the expansion of his church empire over addressing the present needs of his followers in Nigeria, where the economic situation remains challenging. Now Jesus, we talk, say we them late. Where him day inside Bible say, he enter me batch. Another commented on social media. The backlash has also extended to the pastor's wife, to the pastor's use rather, the backlash has also extended to the pastor's use of a bay batch, a luxury vehicle, to visit the newly acquired land, with many questioning the appropriateness of such display of wealth. Lot of laughs. Pastor Dane signed me batch with 80 acres to his name. Congratulations, a user reacted. Another other reaction that followed the post read thus. Nigerians traveled to Canada to look for job opportunities that were created by citizens of other country. It got to a town to buy land instead of building industries and employing labor like a country like other countries we decided to build a church. Africans who collectively contribute starting a tech or real estate company or even to create jobs, but they can contribute to buying land to build more churches. Another commented, curiously the church is only the Nigerian business that enables to make such massive expansion into Europe, Asia, and North America. Another opinion, other races are building big businesses and factories, but we are building churches. Hmm, it's okay. RSCG constant inspection. The acquisition of the 80 acre of land in Canada comes at a time when the RSCG under Pastor Adebo leadership has mistakenly expanded its global footprint. The church has established branches the church has established branches in various countries like the United States, the United Kingdom, and several African nations. However, this latest move has raised concern about the priorities and focus of a church leadership, with critics arguing that the resources could have been better utilized to address the socio-economic challenges facing the congregation in Nigeria. 
As the controversy continues to unfold, it remains to be seen how the RCCG and its leadership will respond to the growing criticism and whether any actions will be taken to address the concerns raised by the church followers and the general public. <laughs> I want to say this. This is coming out at a time where, in fact, I'll just say this. I want to say this to us. First of all, make sure that for whatever reason you are choosing to go to church, hmm? for whatever reason that you have a good, this spirit is strong because you see many things that are going to put you out. You go think, say, after all, this church they itself go is fakeish. People in it are not even real. Make sure the hold you have on your creator. For people will be saying they want, you know, the spiritual thing. Now I think of some people want, some people don't want. <laughs> so please. Because this kind of thing, you get to hear it and question yourself. Why am I even doing this? You are doing this because you want to. Huh? The thing is, in, Niger in Nigeria, or if should I say in Africa, religion is being used as a tool to brainwash other people. We have to say it. When I say religion, I mean both the Christian one, or both the Muslim one, even the so-called traditional one. They use it as a tool to manipulate. Okay? To manipulate people and... When such things like this occur, I don't blame people where they come outside and complain. And no blame them one bit. Check us everywhere before the country now. We all want start from the complaint. Is it that these people don't even come out to even see anything wrong in the government? They don't lend their voices first of all. There are people who we know that are ah, these people, then they talk. You understand? Then they tackle government, they tell government as it be. You understand, even as they're big, they the tackle go. But these people know they tackle government. They know they nobody said they make them follow them fight, but if they do it no good, you talk. Say they do it no good. If they do the one way good, you commend them. Most of these people know they do one. But I mean people, I mean the so-called Jews. Huh? <laughs> do you know if you build a school? Okay. Do you know that if you build a school for the poor to attend for free, many people will still not come? Open training development center. Many will prefer to sleep in church, generated, December shouting, I receive, I receive. I don't know what they're always receiving, whether it is poverty. This one is a debate between RSC members and non-members, but the truth is, whatever you do, people will surely criticize. If they see the RSCG found that Trek and those criticizing for Trek and true, if they... If they, it pays to serve the Lord, serve with all you have to read, right? Luxurious cars. No, we may go to that same way, you know, they find. You know, already know the answer, but no, we may go to talk. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sending me to the listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy.